Dynamite. I had it before. Oh, right, I forgot that. I really doesn't like that. I think the power cable fell out. Hang on. That's a first. One moment. See, now I see it on my screen, and this doesn't want to work. Oh boy. Hang on. I'm fixing it. Fixing it, or at least I'm trying to. Which doesn't like what's happening right now. Oh, hang on. I figured it out. Also, it's weird that the screen has dead silence. Welcome, folks. It's uh, time for Minish Cap. I hope you're fucking excited because I am. I have actually... It's so weird that they have language options in this. Uh... I feel like this is the first one I've seen have, like, language options at the start. Mimnish. Yeah, hi, Chameleon. Just enough space for my name. For the speed run, no thanks. Look at my little marchy boy. A long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. Tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero sword uh, in golden light. Oh, no, nope. it's doing things that I don't like. Oh, uh, the people restore. Oh, God, I'm missing lore. What happened? Picori Blade shit happened. Actually, I, I want to know what happened. Hang on. This is the one with the bird hat, right? Yes. In my attempts to lower the sound, I have instead r reduced it to nothing. Please work with me here. 
All I want is some sound, boy! No. That's brightness. How did I get it so easily on the first one and now I can't get it? I don't like that so loud. I apparently have to raise my microphone threshold. sucks because I literally cannot take this any lower than it currently is. That really is shit. Hang on. Z button options. Brain number. I was hoping that there was something to further reduce the message speed fast and Bright, dark. I think, ironically, dark looks a little bit better. Whatever, I'll put it at normal. Unless there's something. Oh. Oh well, I tried. doesn't sound too loud. It's not too loud coming through, but it's keeping my mic active, which is kind of annoying. Um, my mic is like, how to say this, after doing so much adjustments, I find that there's like, because I'm so low, like, when I speak, I basically have to like, I have to like, reach some weird ultimative like I don't know I, I think I think this is about the closest median that I'm gonna find I turn that off and my voice gets Ironic. Okay. Actually. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out some shit another time. Long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow, also, a nice depiction of a moblin. Tiny Bakori appeared from the sky, bringing a hero of men a sword and a golden light. Wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. She comes. <laughs> Ooh, 
Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Nezero? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. Right. <laughs> I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, he was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. I do have an errand at the castle. Yeah, that should be fine. Nezero, it's time to get up. Where am I coming from? Time to get up? No, let me sleep. Ah, good thing I sleep in my regular clothes. Oh my god, this at hoagie, the fucking... I have a fucking radiation symbol on my head. Love Zelda's theme? Where the... Where the fuck am I? Am I even in the same house? Oh, I guess I am. Hey, Nezero! Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival. Yeah, come on! Let's go check out the festival together! Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival comes only once a year. Go! Have fun! Be merry. Do shit. This Link got three a hoagie. He dumb as fuck. Yeah, boy! And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. You are accepted Smith's sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the Princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything happen to her. Mr. Smith, quit, wor quit worrying. He'll be per will be perfectly safe. He'll be perfectly safe. I will protect him. Come on, Nezero, let's go check out the festival. If this was Tetra, maybe. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, money! Oh. Oh, uh, sorry, Gramps. Were these important? Over here! Oh, good. Hurry, let's go! His name's actually Master Smith. He's not actually good at smithing. He's a much better basket weaver. Good at wood carving. Over here, come on, hurry up! Hyrule Town, Caster Wilds, Minish Woods. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. Town, not, not kingdom? City? I think that's Beetle. Here we are, Nesro, doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Welcome to the Picori Festival! They say that every hundred years the Picori come to Hyrule. And this is the 100th year to the day of the last time the Picori were here. Phew! Preparing for the festival left me absolutely exhausted. Still, I'm just enjoying watching people have fun. Come on, come on, try your luck and win incredible prizes! You think I'll really see the Akari if I'm on my best behavior all the time? Long, long ago, and even then, longer before that, evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. 
They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. Then the Bakori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. The magic light force and the Bakori blade, the beasts were repelled. The world of humans wants more new peace, thanks to the Bakori. Balloons are canon and Zelda let's go. <laughs> Shut up. So let's not forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now remember, little ones, the Pecori only appear before good little children. If only, if you only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them, so be good. I'm just on my way back from seeing the tournament at Hyrule Castle. Let me tell you, watching all those sword fights made me hungry. Bananas? Oh, hi! Are you enjoying the festival? It's so much fun. I'm so happy to be here, and my fresh fruit is just delicious. Buy some. No thanks. There's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. Wow, she's literally just a corn. Are you enjoying yourself, Nezero? This is the biggest festival of Hyrule. If you don't stop to enjoy it, you'll miss out on all the fun. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know who a corn is, that's Chameleon's character in our D&D session. They say Pecorian bring happiness to all the humans they meet. I wonder when they will bring happiness to me. Oh, Jesus, lady. So the Pecori are real. My father... Oh, I didn't read that. Oh, look at that! Only once every hundred years does the mystic doorway open up. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Pecori. To the world of the Pecori. When this door opens, the Pecori can enter our world. And guess what? This marks the hundredth year since they appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. Hey, guy, have you ever seen the Pecori? I just saw one the other day. He wore a red cone-shaped hat, and it was really small. And it was standing inside my dad's shoe. I really saw it, I swear. Hey, wasn't there going to be a sword-fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over here. Wow, can you focus a little, maybe? Where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing, wow. You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes, a bullet or a knife to the back. What will it be? First we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next we have this magnificent gem. And finally there's this teeny tiny shield. So which would you like? Let me guess the jewel? Oh, but this heart stone is very cute, too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. What? Why? Would be, why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute! Or, or this giant gem! It's pretty! Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give it to you as a present. Thanks. Record as Princess Zelda confirmed. Let's go. No. Record's confirmed as having the attention span of a squirrel. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly? She gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. Thanks! Which button is the button? It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. Now if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go! Oh no, it's the snot kid from Ocar er, for out from Outset Island. <laughs> I've never seen the Pecori before. So, 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 I've been good all year. 
like all year long. You know how the Pecori only show themselves if you've been good? And so, 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 I'm just waiting for the Pecori to come and play with me. My sister and I came a long way to see the Pecori Festival this year. Is it true the festival is named after tiny people the size of my thumb? I want to see what they look like. Do you know where I can go to see them? People from all over the place come to Hyrule Town for the Pecori Festival. I've been dispatched from Hyrule Castle up north to watch over the festivities. Corn is a kind of a princess, Zelda. She's blonde, does magic, and is in love with a kind of a hero. Come on, let's hurry to the castle. That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Nesaro, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his! Forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival, and I came to town, hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. Oh, okay. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that did not hurt. Oh well, we won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. I wanted to see if I could get her to do a roll that would have been funny. Hey. Welcome to Hyrule Castle. Hey. Ah, Princess Zelda, what, when did you leave the castle? The sword for the award ceremony. You should take that to the minister, uh, to Minister Potho. You'll find him in front of the castle. Preparations for the award ceremony are coming along nicely. Yeah. Oh, Nezaro! You brought the sword, didn't you? As minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Nezero, but I better go. I have to repair for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Nezero, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? You know about that sword, Nezero? It's called the Pecori Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Pecori Blade is sacred amongst the people of Hyrule. Legend has it that long ago the Pecori gave us that blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. There he is. Let the award ceremony commence! Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. <laughs> oh boy. To think things that would go this well. The glory blade in the bound chest spoken of in Hylian lore. The chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. 
As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Pokori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, well, it's broken. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess who holds the power of the light. The mysterious power is set to flow in the veins of every royal lady. In your family ever since that day when it was gifted to your people. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later, and that will never do. To start with you! All who stand in my way shall share this fate. You have to find out where the power awaits me inside of this chest. Empty? There was nothing in there but those monsters. What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> Tumch the blade. No. Forbidden. Am I supposed to press something? Oh, I guess so. Oh, thank goodness, you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Oh, Nesero, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Oh, I guess I don't have to do anything. It is as you have all heard. A man named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. We had the sacred Picori blade. We likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? Picori, you mean the thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Picori are no mere legend, and they most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori who forged the sacred blade lived deep within the, uh, lived deep within the Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. Kori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers can search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Nezero? If Nezero is recovered, then yes, I would ask this of him. Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. But Kori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now, though, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Picori Blade. You accepted the broken Picori Blade. It's part of the sword needed to reforge the secret sword. Don't lose it. You got the Smith Sword. It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Well then, send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Draft every child into the army, Sheikah Strats. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Pecori share that shrine, it's a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Press the Start button or L or R button to uh, oh, look at map. It's cool. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck. Be careful. I like to imagine he's actually holding this up every single time. Guess we're going somewhere.
roll and roll and roll and roll. And roll. Well, this won't become a dungeon or anything later. himself has entrusted me with this project. See, the recent earthquake tore this place up pretty bad. Listen, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. Okay, well, I guess I'm going around. Oh, good, I can get the tiny trees. Got one rupee. It's green. Don't spend it all in one place. Maybe. Oh, Lone Ranch. Oh, cool. What the fuck is that? He found a heart. Minish woods lie far to the south from here. If you get lost, check your map. You're heading for the Minish woods now, aren't you? Leave the monsters that bad tea free to us and go find the Tori. Well, there are clearly monsters in this area, so... Thorns Wars, Nightmare, and Mole Stack, Moles. Let me in! Let me in! You say here, like, what is the point of this? Also, I know I shouldn't say this, but these little moles look like fucking minions. If you ask me why min I know min what minions look like, it's because how? The fucking memes for them show up everywhere. It's honestly you'd be more concerning if you didn't know what a minion looked like, and maybe it could be free of sin. Sin that is seen minion memes. Free of sin, perhaps. Nice tree trunk. He a jiggly boy. Help! Help me! Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? Ow, ow, help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Well, I guess I'm going back. Hey. 
Hey kid, you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Phew! Well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh ho, I see. Who are you saying, Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Vati's. You say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Oh, you found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It was a pre pleasure to make your, uh, make your acquaintance. Wait, 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 I say! You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I have no legs. What? Is there something on my face? Quick stare at your throat. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Another, you're a troublesome boy. All I did was walk. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. Wait, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than I look, surely. Much easier on me. Quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See there. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. <laughs> now I have a parasite. Here I need my insight. Press select. Controller. This is a this is a GameCube controller. There's no select button. Such a hopeless child. Ah, good. He shut up for a minute. Okay, it's why. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many live now, uh, now live. But if we're to enter the village, we have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. If you return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Tiny. Back in my day, these were called the Lost Woods. Real small. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. The portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know, being minisized is full of dangers. You have puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. But not for your sake, but for my own.
This is the kind of thing that you would probably... Big acorn. I like this though. I like uh, I like the differing perspectives. Minish village. It appears we found the Minish village. Pico Picori. Boy, well, howdy, I can't understand them. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now. Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. Right, I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands our language. We should look around. Oh, that's a jar! Oh, I like that. There's just this random abandoned jar right here. This is... This is just Wind Waker's Outset Island, uh, the inside of the house theme. Why you haven't seen any uh, Minish in Hyrule is because uh, because they're just too big too. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name's Vestari. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? He is a jabber nut. Well, allow you to understand our tongue. We should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Must be the Jabber Nut Fit Star I've been told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabber Nut. Now you can understand the language of the Minish. So you've eaten the Jabber Nut, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us, and that he once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Ancestors, the ancient Minish, used the portal between our worlds. They brought them into the human world, and they settled in this forest. Do Jabbernut's existing campaign? I don't know, I didn't even know they existed until just now. But if they were in large quantities, I imagine that there wouldn't be any use for books that translate languages. There are so many monsters around the woods lately. The Elder said even the Shrine to the North is filled with the monsters now. If you want to reforge that sword, you'll need the help of an expert smith. 
Master Malari and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains, where they say you can find all the ore that you need. I'm sure the Elder will tell you about it if you ask. Given the size of them, you probably can get them if you're minimum size, but they're like grain sized to highly, unless they're grain sized if this is any indicator. If roughly I'm the size of a grain, then it's roughly half of the size of a grain. Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank, for, thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Mesero. We need to break the curse that has been cast upon the Princess of Hyrule. I only have one old man voice. <clears throat> to do so, we need to reforge the broken Pecori blade. Ah, yes. You've come here now to have the blade reforged. If you want the blade reforged, you'll need to go to, uh, you will need the four elements. These are crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark these elements where they can be found. One of them's here. The Earth Element can be found to the shrine to the north of Vistari's Abbey. Speak with Vistari. He'll show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures lately have made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once, once you have found the Earth Element. Illegal, illegal. Mildly. Mesh live in Hyrule Town, and other places too, not just in these woods. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right in Hyrule Town. I'm getting set to leave for town and visit some of my Minish friends there. Do you wish to go to the shrine? Hmm, very well this way. Wild beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it's quite dangerous. Deepwood Shrine. Though this would be the Deepwood Shrine and the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something there. <clears throat> he said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. Oh good, finally healing. That didn't work. Something tells me I'll be getting a lantern or something. Look at the slug boys! They're kind of cute. There's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. Cory no longer exists in the campaign. There was a very wild race war between the city and the forest for Cory right after the game, and then their city laws. I imagine they do still exist in like city stuff, but like more abandoned structures. Hey Goober, this game is way too easy. Well, I guess it'll give me something to enjoy then, won't it? Sluggy boys. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it, press R, and then press the D pad to move.
Interesting. Where are you, Goober? That poor shroom. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. Hmm, oh right. Right, how silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. Fine, you're dealing for, with stress from work. What's the work got going on? Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. Interesting. I like that kind of puzzle. I like that kind of thing. Traffic sucks, yeah. I found a dungeon map. Letter rooms are ones you visit in the blinking room with your location. Press up or down to check different floors. Okay, that's useful. Something to hold down the switch. Push the pots, you don't just drop them. Interesting take on it. Once you take hold of something with R, use F. Yep, yep. I don't even need to press R, dude. I just need to walk into it.
There we go. Too far. Do it like this. Yeah, there we go. After the mental slog that was Metroid Prime, this is a great refresher for me. Look at this way you're looking at the fucker. Uh, I do not like these these webs. I got the gust jar! Hold the button to drop things in and release it to fire the map. Set it to A or B in the item screen to use it. Had a piece of heart. 
Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. It is essentially just the Gus Bellows. shells. Not sure what they're for, but let's hold on to them for now. Oh, I kind of like that. I like this, ironically, probably more than the Gus Bellows. I've got ten more Mysterious Shells! supposed to get up there. shells. That this item is a lot of fun actually. <laughs> Suck away the life and color from the shrooms. Be able to kill them. Yeah. Sucking up all of their poisonous swords or whatever. Thank you. 
Now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much farther. I don't have a key, so I think I can go through there. wonder. I want to see how I can get these to move. I get it. Oh, please tell me that's still going to be down there in the little bed. Lily pad, rather. Is there playing the bad guy? Why am I the bad guy? Oh. Thank you. 
see what we got going on in here. is being very loud for some reason. I got the big key! Unless one of these blocks has to be pushed, not pulled. All that for 20 rupees. Make the next campaign fungin. The fungin, not the dungeon. Oh, a choo choo. Drop, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, 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 drip,
Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Cool. Boss changes attack batter and bad game trash. Boss did it a change. <laughs> Earth element, the power of the earth, this is the source of all living things. Technically, isn't it water? Earth element is the embodiment of that power. Heart container, that face when you realize she turned down a heart container for a shield. Got the earth element. You must go tell the owner at once. Okay. This doesn't feel like it'll be a very long game. But it feels like I'll enjoy it. Courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head over to Mount Cornell. There you will find a man named Malari. Among the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he will surely reforge the broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in this world. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Cornell at once. chance being Nezra, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I have heard many tales about you. All oh, one? I am Malari, researcher of antiquities. I am also a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get out, uh, you won't be able to get back to town due to all of the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. You got a bomb bag. It has ten bombs in it. You can now blow up lots of stuff. Thanks. The sacred powers who grant you the power of Oh. Mm, whoa, it blew up. Hey kid, look at where that stone used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, that must be. Well, I have the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm.
That was just a normal size shoe? Yeah, it's just a difference of perspective. Part of me wonders if a lot of the bosses are going to be like that. I would actually kind of like that difference of perspective kind of take, up, take on things. Uh, okay, I can't cross here. Oh good, I can just skip through that by mashing R. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? If you don't know what a kinstone piece is, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Okay. even when large means that you can find a way to give them longer fuses you could sneak bombs into a really dangerous a lot of really dangerous places here yeah. I got 20 mysterious shots they sure do something They give these, um, these items really, like, impactful effects. <laughs> Name is Muto, and I'm the head carpenter on these parts. He will power up and trust me with the town's reconstruction. interesting.
You found the fairy. This reliable ally will replenish your life energy. Thanks. The fact that I just grab it and it's a stationary object. Shows up, takes your sister, leaves, and explains. Explains nothing. The modern canal, see how many kingstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kingstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come up and get your free kingstone bag for holding your kingstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me. They're free for all kids right now. We got a kinstone bag. You can now carry kinstone pieces with you. Fitting two kinstone pieces is called a kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Choose a kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all that? Yeah. Stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones. That's it. Press L. Then you can see the kinstone screen. These two kinstone pieces pet, uh, fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Wow, I sure don't know where that is. South Hyrule Field. Okay. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya. Shit's weird. when I get a chance. Piece of heart! I just planted a big old bean. As it's spreading, yeah, but when it does, it's gonna be a big sucker.
I just played with a big old beam. Yeah. Imagine what it's like to be that old man right now. You see this person leave your house quite a few hours ago, and then he comes back in, somersaults in, somersaults out, and then... No explanation. This cat don't care. I am Swift Blade, finest swordsman in all of Harmony. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here, please? So we shall start with the most basic of all the techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That is all you have, swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Watch this. Switch a room. Now you must try it yourself. Tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can reveal with the scroll. You may view it any time for the quest status. Thanks. I 
faire des Oh, it's a fucking underscore. God damn it. Please. And you can't go into the buildings or leave town. How do I how do I pick you up? Dude, I don't under what? was the best yet. We all hear sorts of interesting uh, we hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. Let's try fusing kinstone some pieces with lots of people. and they're good for you too. Fresh fruit, get your fresh fruit.
Doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, but you will ask for me. Welcome. Please bring whatever you'd like to buy up to the register. Must make deliciousness. It's unfortunate, they're not open yet. Oh well, we'll just have to come back later, won't we? I think the mayor's doing a fine job, no matter what people say. The mustachio guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. I'm Hay, the mayor of this fair town. Mayors are usually very important and busy folk, I'll have you know. I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. I just love them. They're beautiful. Simply magnific magnificent, I tell you. Sorry, but I can't let you pass. There are monsters out there. Well, it looks like they're having fun in there. I wish I could play with them. But is it Nezra? It is good to see you again. School is in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. Check out a book, but they're not open yet. Ah, oh, well, age brings patience, Sonny. I can wait. Book Blade Schools in the South End is really awesome. North, I guess. Not. This is the Minish Woods. Mayor Shoulder told us to see Malaria on Mount Crow.
here, maybe? Oh, welcome back. My, but you're looking so much stronger. If you get tired, just go ahead and nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making a sword for the guards to keep the monsters at bay. I wish I could do more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. Trying to figure out how to get where I want to go. You think it would involve shrinking, but I haven't seen any shrinking spots. I can't go anywhere up here. Did I win yet? No. The game doesn't go that fast, dude. It's not a me. to know you play in the woods I'm I'm playing something but they in the woods I see Charlie I'm fucking lost is what I am it says go to Mount Cornell but every way to Mount Cornell is blocked off Struggling to find a method of progression. Maybe it's something in town that I'm just missing. 
It would be kind of weird if it was, because every entrance in town is blocked off. I can't pass through there to get back to Hyrule Castle now, which would be the last way to go. I think Mount Cornell is where the fire, fire shit is. Which means, I think, that I gotta be in miniature form, but... You're doing good, just another day arguing with the insurance company, that's enough. Oh my god. 
god, the controls sometimes. Pick it up. Imagine, imagine, imagine picking things up. God is dead. He stared me right in the eye when he made this game, and then he just slit his own throat. Oh no, this is horrible. Help? Yes. Time's up, that's it, Jesus Christ. Funny mysterious shells. I got 80 rupees, doesn't it feel good? Oh my god. The cuckoos have gotten there. Can you catch them for me? Yeah. I just need to do it one more time and then I have enough for the boomerang, which might be necessary for progression. There's no sense in even trying anymore. Postman totally killed my run. <sighs> Whatever. Time's up, that's it. Yep, can we move on with our lives? Hmm, well, I'm still missing a lot of cuckoos. Hmm, well, I'm still missing a lot of fucks to give, lady. 
Things were both a little out of luck, aren't we? How they would have you do this shit. I really, uh, I don't know, I'm not done with this. Whatever you want to call this. Down the well! Wherever I'm going, I'm somewhere. Hope I can't get that. Pick up the well. Pita, yeah. Pita, the horse is here. Nope, oh, already been here. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. I'm... Where do I go? Where do I go? Answer is obviously I need to continue from up near Hyrule Castle. If only I could reach there! Jesus Christ. Not this way, apparently. If there was a shiny thing you couldn't answer, all I could guess is bomb or spin attack. If that's what I thought too, but it's like. Woods. Jesus Christ, I'm in suffering. Probably has to do with those. I don't know anymore, man. I'll try, but that feels a little weird. supposed to be this thing.
Let me guess, you're not gonna give me. Don't tell me you've forgotten. What's wrong with you? Go to Mount Fuckwad. Oh gee, Ezra, why don't you tell me where I should start? You fucking useless piece of shit. I break into this field? Bombs, no match for wooden fence. Got it. Since I'm st um... Since you looked it up, is it a moon logic thing or am I just blind? If it's a moon logic thing, then I'll say okay. If it's just me being blind. Some humid objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look by, like much, but they are quite crafty. I, 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 I don't like Ezlo. Ezlo's useless. I can shrink in here, but now I can't do anything because... No, I... I tried leaving the shop. Like... There's literally a ridge here that it's just like, no, you can't go past. So I have to go up here. But the problem is when I go up here, I can't, I can't do anything.
Apparently not real. Unless this is a weird timed thing. Maybe I'm supposed to sleep or Minus points. Uh, how to say this? It feels like a weird incentivization for when I went up to the other guards. And they told me, basically, no, I can't go outside of town because it's dangerous. And gave me no inclination that they would let me through once I learned the spin attack. Once you kind of have the idea of the guards are going to stop me no matter what, um, you kind of don't feel incentivized to talk to them anymore. The hardest part of this game is the final boss. The hardest part of the game is what I'm assuming I just experienced. this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. What do you say, huh? Sure. You finished it in the course of one day? Cool, good for you. I'll finish this at my own pace. this game totally blind. I've never had to play one of the other GBA games for Zelda. Oh well, mm, love that. Thank you. 